uh, as early as 2016, we already filed a res resolution in regards to the moratorium of stopping the deployment of domestic workers in Kuwait. Mm. And right now, we already have a memorandum of agreement uh, for better uh, work hours, work hours communica yeah, yeah. Communi uh, passports, what you call, yeah, passports uh, access to communications or mobile phones, etc. But uh, still, we are receiving or the receiving numbers of complaints that those uh, provisions are not being uh, followed. So until now, uh, it's been almost uh, six months. Wala pa rin tayong uh, na nabuong yung tinatawag nating uh, monitoring uh, committee that will going to both. It's a joint uh, committee for both Kuwait and uh, Philippines. So to both governments both are supposed governments. to monitor in, yeah. in one committee. Saka, but but nandun pa rin, ilan, na, but wala pang committee. Ilan daan pa rin ang ating mga uh, distressed workers sa ating mga imbahada and still it's the same complaint. So, bakit ba ganito ang uh, nangyayari ngayon, di ba? Kasi, Ang ating polisiya kasi, lalong-lalo na ng under the Department of Labor or uh, our uh, Overseas Employment Program, nakabox na siya, nakabox in siya sa, sa welfare and protection. Mm -hmm. So, it only means that there are other countries that we can actually develop. And besides, these women is not only meant to work as domestic workers. We have a lot of monies and budget under TESDA, under DOLE. And uh, under OWA, oh, uh, why don't we train those uh, female uh, female workers instead of uh, working as a domestic worker? Para man sinabi mo, hindi hanggang dyan mm. lang talaga ang pwede yeah. namin ibigay no, na training. What, you, what, you, what you're saying is that we should be retooling the workforce towards another direction. Uh, hindi lang DH, uh, hindi lang domestic helpers. They should be trained in in skill sets. That and, would uh, be we are the only country in right yes. now in Asia who's supplying domestic workers. Indonesia stopped supplying domestic workers for so many years in other Asian countries. And there there's a lot of demand for female welders for in Japan, in Korea, and other co countries. Why don't we train them for another skills? Mm. But but I'd like I'd like to go back to my earlier question, Karina. Now, six months ago, more or less, uh, parang we we were at a high point uh, as far as overseas workers welfare is concerned. Na magandang memorandum with Kuwait. Uh, but now you're saying na hindi siya napapatupad. Uh, bakit ganun? Uh, because of the same complaints that we are receiving in our office, the same numbers of uh, increasing numbers of uh, distressed workers in our in our uh, shelters. So ibig sabihin, talagang hindi pa rin effective yung uh, yung yung uh, mga provisions sa memorandum of agreement. The biggest complaint is so uh, uh, maltreatment, uh, salaries, uh, 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 their passport, they are not the one who's holding the pa hindi pa rin sila ang may hawak and uh, extended uh, uh, hours uh, sa pagtatrabaho mm -hmm. nila. And, and also, the, the basic complaint is, uh, is maltreatment pa rin. But at the same time, Ed, kagaya nga na binabagit ni Congressman John Perkis, it's basically a question of strategy. Yes, we're balancing now. It's a question, uh, ipapadala ba natin yung mga kasama natin, mga Filipino workers who have no opportunities, quote-unquote, here uh, to these particular areas. But they belong to the vulnerable sectors of mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, sila yung most vulnerable na mga abuse. It's a question, are we going to continue with this kind of policy? Uh, ang gusto natin, of course, uh, magkaroon sila ng trabaho, pero what what cost? Magkakaroon nga sila ng trabaho, kikita nga sila ng kaunti. Kaunti lang Pero eh. mas malaki. Alit ang kaibahan dito yes, eh. Mas yeah. malaki yung social cost, family cost, lahat na ng cost, and cost to the country. Na kailangan mo silang i-repatriate dito, ibalik dito. So babalik din tayo doon sa sasabi ni Congressman John Bertis kanina. It's a question really of strategy. Ito yung ba yung pulisiya na gusto nating i-pursue? O mas maganda na ibalik natin sila dito at i-retool sila? Actually, ito nga yung question ko nung nakaraan, uh, nung nagkaroon ng isang hearing. Ang sinasabi po ng mga uh, uh, managers po natin sa, OF, sa DOLE, sa OWA, and TESTA, sabi nila, uh, Congressman, mayroon naman tayong mga proseso para i-retrain yung mga tao, para makapagtrabaho na sila man na sila dito. Kaya tanong ko, kung mayroon naman talaga yung tayong program na ganyan, bakit aantayin pa natin na mag sila, ma sila, ibalik natin sila, saka natin sila titrain. Hindi ba mas maganda, baguhin natin yung sistema, baguhin natin yung ating pananaw at pamamaraan. Na bago pa man din sila i-consider yung pag-abroad na yon, dapat na-consider na muna nila dito that they should be trained for some other work, for but, some other skills. Uh, meron ba silang pagtatrabaho?